everyone, it's James. Steph was recently invited to give a talk to the local chapter of the American Association of University Women. Now her talk was on fitness and aging. And while it wasn't specifically about RVs, she touched on a number of things that should be important to all of us as we age. Let's have a listen. So we're gonna get up and get moving, but first I wanna talk to you guys about, about something. And I wanna throw a word at you and raise your hand if you've ever heard this word before. Sarcopenia. Have you heard that word before? Just a couple. That's so interesting. Well, how, here's another word. Oh. <laughs> here's another word. Osteoporosis. Yeah. Now, isn't this interesting? Because sarcopenia is to the muscles kind of what osteoporosis is to the bones. It's a degeneration of our muscles as we age. It's shrinkage of our muscles as we age. And the interesting thing to me is that we're all going through sarcopenia at some, t at some level, yet we're not all dealing with osteoporosis. Yet you all know osteoporosis. Can you spell sarcopenia? S-A-R-C-O-P-E-N-I-A. -E yeah. Yeah. So, so why are we going through sarcopenia? Well, obviously our hormones as we age we have less hormones we're creating less hormones than when we were younger our body was so much more forgiving at age 30 than it is now and so top that with with inactivity and that's why uh, sarcopenia tends to set in there's other reasons too but that's the main reason why we're dealing with sarcopenia so that's what leads to when the stairs start getting hard as we're aging when going to the grocery store becomes this huge feat that's some of that is sarcopenia and that's what silver sneakers is about we want to combat that we want to fight sarcopenia and we want to fight inactivity so and i've got two i want to i want to throw out two stats at you two statistics one comes from the world health organization and they said inactivity doubles your risk doubles your risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, colon cancer, osteoporosis, lipid disorders, depression, and anxiety. <laughs> Woo! Inactivity does all of that. Um, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, they do a lot of research on inactivity and they stated that inactivity is just as big of a risk factor for disease as is smoking, as is hypertension. So sitting on the couch watching TV is just as bad as going out and having a cigarette? That, that blows my mind, and that's really scary. Fitness becomes more important as we're aging than any other time in our lives, and that's because of sarcopenia. We, we, need, to, we need to keep ourselves exercising just so we can combat that, so we can age well. So, but I want to hear from you guys for a minute. I want to know, show of hands, how many of you go to a gym sometimes to get exercise? Quite a few, that's great. And that's not the only way to get exercise. How many of you do home workouts within your home to get exercise? Very good. And it's always a personal preference, whatever you like better. There's not one way that's better than another. How about walking? How many of you go out and get walking for exercise? Awesome. Walking is great, but it can't be the only thing you do to stay fit. That's not gonna combat sarcopenia. It's not gonna build up your muscles as resistance training will. Because exercise isn't only great for your muscles, it's so great on your brain. First, let me throw some gloomy statistics out at you. At, starting at age 40, our brain is going to shrink in size 5% per decade. 5% per decade. At age 60, our hippocampus, that's the area that's key to memory forming. The hippocampus shrinks one to two percent per year, per year as we age. But here's the good news. It's all reversible, all of it with, you know what? Exercise. Exercise. So there was a study done at the University of Illinois. They took people age 60 to 79 and they were sedentary yet healthy people. They exercised every day for six months. All along the way, they were measuring their hippocampus, and guess what happened? It did, not only did it not shrink, it grew. It grew to the point where it was two years prior on these people. So they were two years younger 
in their hippocampus region because they exercised every day for six months. How cool is that? Exercise made them grow their hippocampus region of their brain. I see some of you fanning, that's good. So that means we're, we've got some circulation going and that helps to keep you mentally sharp too. Having good circulation going in your brain, getting the blood flowing through your brain. In fact, in the journal called Neurology recently, they cited a bunch of studies that showed that physical exercise actually trumps mental exercise like doing Sudoku's crossword puzzles in keeping you sharp as we age. And the reason for that is that good blood flow that happens in your brain with exercise, like what we just did, it was making the blood flow through your brain, which causes BDNF to be released, which is a chemical compound to be released in your brain, which is required for more neurons to be created in your brain. So you need that BDNF to be released in order for your brain to make more neurons. Exercise does that. Sudokus don't. So ladies, pencils down sometimes and put the running shoes on when you're trying to do those mental, trying to stay mentally sharp. So, okay. Well, that's all I had, so thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>